I thought it would be fun today to film the perfect palette tag. I just saw somebody do this video recently for the first time, and then I like went through, looked at all the questions, put together answers, pulled out all my palettes, and then I did a little more research and realized everybody did this tag like four months ago and I totally missed the boat, but that's okay. I think this video will still be fun to film and hopefully to watch as well, and maybe I'll get some ideas on these different palettes. So the first question in this tag is which palette has the best packaging? For my palettes, I'm going to pick the Urban Decay Dangerous palette, and the reason I'm picking this palette is because of the zipper, which may seem like a really silly reason to pick it as best packaging, but I like the packaging, I think just because it makes you feel kind of safe and secure that you can just zipper this whole thing up and nothing's gonna come out, you're not gonna lose any of the products, you feel like it's not gonna break if it's in this, I'm sure it can, but you feel like it's not gonna break because it's all zipped up and safe and secure in this palette. Um, honestly, I like the shiny black part of this palette as far as the packaging goes, but I would prefer maybe even a different color scheme. The reason that I like this palette the most for packaging simply comes down to the zipper. I know that's really silly, but it, it all comes down to the zipper for me for whatever reason. All of these colors have shimmer to them. So just keep that in mind when you're putting together any sort of look, that it's all shimmer colors. It does have two kind of gray colors, a darker and a lighter gray. Then it has kind of a gold color. It has a, a shimmery blue, a shimmery green, and a shimmery purple. And it does come with a lip product as well. The second question is which palette has the best color payoff? This was a little difficult for me to be honest because I have two palettes that honestly have the best color payoff of my whole collection. However, I'm going to go with the Urban Decay Naked palette as I'm sure a lot of other people have done as well. The color payoff for this palette is amazing and you can get some really great neutral looks with this palette. The third question is which palette is the most versatile? And I'm definitely going to have to go with the Lorac Pro palette for this one. It has an entire row of matte colors, an entire row of shimmer colors. You have neutral colors in there as well as a little pop of color here and there. So you can really create a lot of great looks with this. And the color payoff with this palette is amazing. I could hardly decide between this and the Naked palette because the color payoff for both of them is great. In fact, when I went to get my makeup done for my wedding when I got married, I brought all of my makeup since I'm a huge makeup junkie and the woman doing my makeup for my wedding chose this out of all my other makeup and she even said after she was using this palette that she was gonna go buy herself one of these palettes so that she could use it when she was doing future weddings because she loved this palette so much. So just goes to show you, even professionals love the Lorac Pro palette. The next question in this tag is which palette is the best for traveling? And I am going to kind of cheat on this question. Basically because I hate showing products that you can't buy anymore. I think it's really frustrating when you see somebody have a product and then you can't go buy it. It's so annoying and all you want to do is like go on Amazon or go to Sephora.com or Ulta.com and pick it up and you can't. So I'm going to tell you what I use for traveling, but then I'm going to give you kind of a couple other options so that you can actually go buy something good for traveling if, if you want to take my advice on this one. So the one that I use for traveling right now the most is the Stila Miriam Bright palette. And it's just great because it has a range of eyeshadow colors, but it also has a cheek color as well. I mentioned this in another video and I did also mention that it is discontinued. It's long gone, but it is a great palette for traveling and the reason that I use it is because it's small and compact. Now the next two products I'm going to show you I believe were also limited edition before or around Thanksgiving, Black Friday sales, Christmas sales, and these are the Lorac Minis, and one was the Platinum Series and one was the Gold Series. You can obviously tell which one's which. These were great as well just because they're compact. They have the color range there that you can use, but if you don't have anything like this, you can always find stuff like this, especially around the holidays. You can find a lot of these palettes between Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the sales that happen around and between those holidays. If 
if you don't already have something like this. And if you haven't seen my travel videos, I have two travel videos, what's in my carry-on, and then I also have a travel what's in my makeup bag video where I mention the Marion Bright Stila palette. However, if you can't get your hands on a palette like that right now, the Naked Basics palette is also a really great palette for travel. And then I think Lorac also has a mini palette, like a mini pro to go or something like that. And that's a really good option as well. I just don't have those in my collection because I always stock up on holiday palettes. The next question is probably everybody's least favorite question, and that question is, what palette is your biggest regret? Because I know a lot of people hate talking negatively about things, and just speaking negatively in general. I know I'm a very positive person, so I like to say nice, good things about people and products and all of that, but I do have one palette that for sure is a big regret, and I like this brand, I just don't like this palette. So the e.l.f. Natural Eye Edition, this Beauty Book palette, it just was not good for me. The color payoff isn't great, you have to really dig into the product to get it to show up, and I felt like I was fighting against the product trying to get it to work. I like products that are easy to use, and this one just wasn't very easy for me to use, but I do like other products from e.l.f. So the next question in this tag is which palette has the best color names? And I definitely have to go with the Too Faced Romantic Eye Palette for this one. And it has names that all have to do with weddings. So the names are things like Soulmates, Kiss the Bride, Cut the Cake, I Do, Ever After. And I just think that's so cute. And I wore it for the first time to a friend's wedding that I went to. And I just remember putting it on and it got me completely in the mood and ready for this friend's wedding. So that was really exciting. And then I loved this palette so much that I actually lost it in a move. I don't know what happened to it. I know I packed it, but then I never found it again after unpacking. I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was so frustrated that I finally just went and bought it again. I'm sure one day I'm gonna find the palette in a box somewhere, but I searched high and low and really couldn't find it in any of my stuff. So I very well could have left it somewhere as well. However, I did go back and repurchase it so that I could have it, not just because of the names. It's a great palette as well, but the names definitely make it more adorable. question is which palette is the least used palette that you own and for me this is totally a trick answer because I guess a cheating answer because I just purchased the Naked 3 and I just filmed a haul and you probably already saw that it was probably posted last week for you but the Naked 3 palette I just bought from Urban Decay and I have not even used this yet I'm so so excited to use it I just haven't gotten into it yet because I wanted to film that haul and have it like fresh and unused for that haul so I haven't used it yet but I'm really really excited for it so it's kind of a trick question because it's not least used because I don't like it it's least used because I just bought it recently the very last question on this tag is what is your most loved most used desert island product and I would have to say again this is a limited edition product and I am really upset about it because I wish they would have this palette again it I used the crap out of it. I loved it so much and I was so sad that I couldn't go and repurchase another one after I'd used it up. It's the Stila Mod Look 1. It is from a really long time ago and I used it up a really long time ago. But it just had the perfect pink and shimmery champagne color and it just looked great. You could use it on your cheeks as a highlight. You could use it on your eyes. It just, oh my gosh, it was such a great palette and I'm really sad that they don't have it anymore. So I've been holding on to this palette for years, really, even though two of the three colors are completely hitting pan, barely there, but I've been holding on to it just in case I can find a similar color to each of the colors in this palette. So hopefully they bring it back. They probably will not, but maybe I can find colors that are similar somehow. Well, that is everything for the perfect palette tag. I hope you liked this video. It was really fun to film. If you did like the video, you can click the like button or you can leave a comment down below with your favorite palette or your favorite travel palette. I would love to hear what palettes people use to travel with because I am constantly on the hunt for good travel products, as you probably know from 
from some of my other travel videos. If you haven't seen those travel videos, you should check them out. I'll leave some links in the description bar below. Other than that, I hope you're having a really, really great day and I will see you next time.